but in the playoffs last year in particular against the outs and in game seven he was outstanding off we go from climate plants arena gerard chipped it to the wall and now Nichushkin shovels it out to center ice, bouncing puck past O'Connor, and on a step it's Alexiak for Baneers. His pass got broken up and then batted out of the air by Jared McCann, the 40 goal scorer. Morgan plays it around the railing. Bjorkstrand finds it in the corner. The game seven hero works it back to the line. Seam pass, Schwartz denied in front by Georgiev. Wow, was Schwartz wide open to Colorado defense? Sam Gerrard and Bo Byram are playing together. Gerrard turned his puck over just inside the blue line. And as they scramble back to position, there's Berard. He's the left defenseman. He's way out on the right side. Byram's all tied up with Wenberg. And hello, that's Jaden Schwartz all alone. Look at the patience of Georgiev. He doesn't overreact as McKinnon scrambles back. But a great chance for Jaden Schwartz, maybe the best of the game. And Georgiev beats him from 10 feet. Pride of Colorado College, who did score Saturday against the Blues in that shootout loss for the Kraken. Tried to wiggle around at the blue line, turns it over, and now McKinnon on the hop with Rantanen. Survey. Net from for McKinnon, trying to stuff it home on Grubauer. First is a turnover and a rush chance, and if you're going to turn it over, you probably don't want to turn it over right here, as that's Rantanen and McKinnon are going to get the puck in the neutral zone, a little give and go in McKinnon. Last season, bouncing off the end board, paddled out by Grubauer. Brian Dumoulin turns it over, and a big time save by Grubauer. That Grubauer reads pass and shovels it to the side. Locked it ahead by Olofsson and pursued by Cagliano. We got the support from his line mate Logan O'Connor fighting with Everly. Up ice, it's Cartier, peeling toward the slot, got blocked on the way in, bounces off the end boards, Yamamoto toward the net, tried to poke it home, and Cartier hit it off the iron, and now the Kraken scores, with Yamamoto on the reload, and Seattle strikes first. Seattle starting to attack off the rush, the early chance is going to come to the front of the net, and Cartier is going to hit the crossbar. Now it's chaos. Nobody can sort this out. And from a sharp angle, Georgiev loses his position. Watch him get flat in the net off the rebound of Cartier's shot. Georgiev's going to get flat in the net, not square to the shooter. And Tyler Yamamoto gets his first as a Seattle... With Rantanen and McKinnon, it didn't work in the first period. We'll see how long Jared Bednar hangs with that, or if he makes a move here in period two. And remember also, a buck 48 left on the Kraken power play to start this second. Well, sometimes the lines look great on the whiteboard, but then they get out into the game and it just doesn't work, and that's pretty much what happened to the Avs tonight. So Nachushkin back down, playing with Lekkinen and Johansson on the second unit. Nachushkin toward the net, tumbles there, they score! Lekkinen ties the game at one! Jumps on that loose puck, really nice work in the corner by the Avs as Nachushkin works the puck into the corner and he's going to need puck support. And it's from Lekkinen, the two of them get to work here and with a delayed penalty, Lekkinen takes the free puck. Grubauer is out of position. There's no chance. Schwartz shielding on Taves. He's able to fight that free to McCarr. Coming up on 40 seconds to go. The Avalanche clear. O'Connor's got it. Short-handed. Scores! And the Avs lead. McCarr is going to get this puck. As Taves... Breaks up the play, McCarr clears it around, and Dunn will not see O'Connor until it's too late. O'Connor takes it to the forehand and is able to beat Grubauer with the shorthanded goal. They're very fortunate to be ahead here. They've been the second best team. They yeah. do have the lead as Qatar walks in, got it from Lekkinen. Lekkinen drags, shoots, and a save by Grubauer waiting for a whistle. He gets it. Well, this power play has really disrupted any momentum that Seattle had. Burakovsky turns the puck over in the middle of the ice. It's one thing if your power play doesn't score. It's quite another when it pulls the air out of the building. And that's what this Seattle power play has done in this third power. 
banked out to neutral ice. Here's Lekkinen down the right wing. Pulls up to the slot. It's Gerard and a save made by Grubauer to keep this a one-goal game. Kraken looking to inject some energy here in the last couple of minutes. Another big collision back in the Seattle end. Here's Larson. Dragon joining the rush. Trying to go short side and the blocker stopped by Georgiev. To the Colorado Avalanche dressing room after blocking a shot earlier. Adam Larson, sweet drag move. Bounces down and finds Burakovsky. He holds it left point, sweeps it to the slot. Dumoulin moves to the cross. And the save made on Yanni Gordsbid to tie the game. Schultz from the line. Big block by Lekkinen, who tumbles, is slow to get up. And the Avalanche moving up ice with Johansson with a shot. That missed the net. Into the corner. Colton gets. But Georgiev makes the stop. And then Dumoulin is going to find Yanni Gord, much like the chance of Jaden Schwartz in the first period. So the Avalanche have the lead, 2-0 to start this season with wins over the Kings and then the Sharks. Meanwhile, the Kraken winless at 0-2-1, their first three games in trailing as we start the third. Flung wide of the net, picked up by Adam Larson. The wonder, is some sort of regression coming? But a boatload of chances. Now a takeaway. Johansson, speeding ahead, has Druan with him. Filtered across, Druan! Denied there by Grubauer, who got a piece to the blocker. Six and a half to go, Avalanche by one. McKinnon pivots on Tolvanen, back out Cagliano. Move for Gerard. fire him a one-timer, flutters and breaks the stick on the way in, and come back out toward the half wall. Cagliano on a pinch, here's Gerard for Rantanen, he scores! And just like that, it's a two-goal Colorado lead. Yanni Gord's gonna break his stick. You see it in two pieces there. Yeah! He's coming back into the play. You see him out at the point. Don Jared McCann who sits in the box. Burakovsky fanned on it right point. Met by Nachushkin. Burakovsky lost it. Nachushkin's got it toward the net. He scores! The empty netter to put it on ice for the Avalanche. Pretty frustrated as this puck bobbles on him. The Chuskin shoves him off the puck and stays with it. Intercepts it a second time and puts it in the middle of the empty net. On Thursday, and again, we told you you can watch right here on ESPN against the Blackhawks. York Strand pulls up. He gets muscled off the puck. Carried ahead. Here's Mason and a save made by Philip Grubauer. Gord speeds back in with Bjorkstrand, got blocked, Gord shot, fought off again by Georgiev, He's had a great night. Sitting on one, trailing by three in the home opener here in the new year. Look deep by Belmar, toward the net, and Georgiev, another save this time on Karche. Georgiev in Seattle came out and played really well and aggressively early on. It finishes with a terrific stop as Karche is all by himself. You see him take it that extra half beat. Poked out by Gerard into the circle for Burakovsky. And that will do it here in Seattle. Colorado has started this season 3-0. They get a 4-1 win over the Kraken.